<laughs> well, I would not want this program to end without letting you know something very important. And that is that music is poetry, and poetry is music. So here we have the music of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. And the poetry of the Winnie the Pooh guy one more time. A. A. Milne's poem, The Four Friends. Ernest was an elephant, a great big fella. Leonard was a lion with a six-foot tail. George was a goat, his beard was yellow, and James was a very small snail. Leonard had a stall, great big strong one. Ernest had a manger and its walls were thick. George found a pen, I think it was the wrong one. James sat down on a brick. Ernest started trumpeting and cracked his manger. Leonard started roaring and shivered his stall. James gave the huffle of a snail in danger and nobody heard him at all. Ernest started trumpeting and raised such a rumpus. Leonard started roaring and trying to kick. James went a journey with the goat's new compass and he reached the end of his brick. Ernest was an elephant and very well intentioned. Leonard was a lion with a brave new tail. George was a goat as I think that I have mentioned, but James was only a snail. Now, that music was written over 200 years ago by Mozart. This is not Mozart. <laughs> this music was not written 200 years ago. This music was written a few years ago. <laughs> it's got the same beat as the Mozart. I'll prove it. I'll do the same poem. Same poem, same beat, different music, and a very different... a great big fellow. Leonard was a lion with a six foot tail. George was a goat. His beard was yellow. James was a very small snail. Leonard had a stall. Great big strong one. Ernest had a manger and his walls were thick. George found a pen. Think it was the wrong one. James sat down on a brick. Ernest started trumpeting and cracked his manger. Leonard started roaring and shivered his stall. James gave the huffle of a snail in danger and nobody heard him at all. Oh. Ernest started trumpeting and raised such a rumpus. Leonard started roaring and trying to kick. James went to journey with the goat's new compass and he reached the end of his brick. Ernest was an elephant and very well intentioned. Leonard was a lion with a brave new tail. George was a goat. I think that I have mentioned that in James was only a snail, snail, snail. Thank you. That pretty much brings me to the end of my program for the afternoon. I'll show you how my magic cane works. It's not really magic at all. It's a magic trick. It's a ribbon of metal. It's a spring. It's hollow on the inside. Yeah. The real magic in this show is what happens inside you when you memorize a poem and then speak it out loud. It's a two-stage process. The magic happens at the, sec at the end of the second stage. First, you've got to put it in your head so you don't have to look at anything. And then you speak it out loud and then you get to feel like you're on summer vacation anytime you want. That's magic. This is just a spring. Watch. It folds up. Gets really small. Gets so small that it will fit inside my hand. Just like the longest poem in the world will fit inside your head. There are people who have memorized even the rhyme of the ancient mariner. And that's a poem that's about 60 pages long. That's a long poem. Okay, so there's something here, I don't know if you can see it way back, but this, this goes across the top and it keeps it from springing open. So when I slide this over, it will allow the spring to spring open. Ready? <laughs> Stainless steel. $65 on eBay. <laughs> or for free, for free you can go to the library and get a book of poems, find one you like, memorize it, and it's yours forever. And it only gets better every time you do it, so it never wears out. So thank you for being a just unbelievably tremendous audience.